Hello everyone, this is Buck WSR Weezer coming at you today with another lawn mower, lawn tractor repair project. This is the Craftsman YT4500, though it really doesn't matter the maker model. We've got an engine issue today, and this is a Briggs & Stratton 26 horsepower twin cylinder. And the problem with this uh, engine right now is that it is not charging our battery not charging the battery and there's nothing more frustrating than coming out to ride your mower and it won't start or having to put it on a battery charger between mows. This tractor has the electric PTO clutch and that requires a fully charged battery where the blades won't engage so it's really important that this engine be charging the battery properly. I want to show you how to diagnose it <clears throat> and also how to repair it. What we have here the, the charging system is very simple mounted under the flywheel is an alternator also called the stator magnets embedded in the flywheel as the flywheel spins uh, generates approximately 30 volts alternating current AC and this connection right here this yellow one these yellow wires are coming from the stator from the alternator so we're going to test we're going to start the engine put it at full throttle and test these this connection here for uh, voltage also this then that then that 30 volts or so AC goes to this little gizmo here the rectifier voltage rectifier regulator and it it changes that 30 volts into about 15, 14, 15 volts DC coming out on this red wire right here. And this wire goes all the way back to our battery to charge it. So the first thing that I wanna do is I'm gonna make sure we've got continuity on this red wire back to the uh, battery. Because your, your charging system could be working, but if this is not a good connection back to your battery, it won't charge it. So with the key in the on position, we should be able to read battery voltage right here. I'm gonna put you on a tripod and uh, I'll use two hands on the, on the meter leads. Not sure if you'll be able to see that. But uh, see if I can get that in there. All right, so you can see the screen on my multimeter. I'm gonna put the negative probe on the negative terminal of the battery. We got the key switch in the run position. And right here, we should read 12 volts. It's the one that the right regulator, this is the one, goes back to the battery. So watch the meter. 12.35 volts. All right, so that's battery voltage. That indicates we got good connection from here back to our battery. So that when the charging system is working as it should, our battery will indeed charge. Now the next thing I wanna do is, I'm gonna switch my multimeter to alternating current scale. And we are going to fire up the tractor and then put our two test leads on the two, connect two, two uh, terminals coming out of the stator out of the alternator we should get about 30 or so volts ac so hang on and we will fire it up and see see if we can get voltage there So what you were able to see as I was at full throttle, this stator alternator is putting out about only 13 volts AC, which is not, which is only maybe barely half of what it should be. So our, what we need to do before going any further is to replace the stator. 
I think that's what's bad. I don't suspect that this regulator is bad. Once we replace the stator, we'll be able to verify if this regulator is working as it should. Those are really the only two components, the stator mounted under the flywheel and the, uh, the stator mounted under the flywheel and the voltage regulator right here. I'm pretty convinced that uh, based on that test that the stator is bad, the alternator is bad, and we're going to replace it. I will show you how to do that. Let's start by taking off this cover right here. One, two, three, four. Next, this cover will slide right off. We also now need to take off this whole engine shroud. I think I'm going to remove the uh, hood because that's it'll make it easier to work if we take the hood off. This particular case, it lifts off very easily. Let's go ahead and open the uh, air cleaner cover. Remove the air cleaner. All right, so we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, they look like 10 millimeter, maybe three eighths. I guess three eighths is probably it. Take those screws off. Sometimes you don't have to actually remove them, just loosen them. The cover will be able to slide off. Disconnect the uh, drain. Over on this side of the engine is a uh, is mounted the the fuel pump. This guy right here, and we'll probably want to take him down also. At least loosen it. And these are two 5 16 screws that hold the pump up. Just loosen it to free it from the engine shroud. Now this should lift up and come off. Great, so the stator alternator is under this flywheel. Take off this plastic, these plastic fins. Size is at maybe half inch. And that guy comes off. And now this big, uh, it's probably. Weird. So let's see if this little impact of mine will be able to remove this. Yeah, that's pretty good. Nut comes off, washer comes off. Okay.
I've got a Briggs and Stratton flywheel puller, but I'm wondering if we can just break it loose by prying and and uh, banging on it a little bit. I'm not going to go nuts. Um, let's see. Okay, I did not get out the flywheel puller. I banged and pried just a little bit more and it came and popped loose. All right, so take that off. Keep track of our flywheel keyway pin. And you can see here these magnets uh, under the underside of the flywheel. This here is the stator, the alternator. And I'm going to clean some of that dirt out. I'm going to get a vacuum and clean up some of that dirt too. And then we'll remove the stator and put in the new one. <laughs> So it looks like we got one, two, three, four quarter inch screws to come off of there. I'm pretty sure the new part comes with new hardware. So I'm not sure that's the biggest deal. Why can't you just reuse these? Okay. And then the other thing to pay attention to is the routing of the wires. Yeah, this thing looks charred actually in some spots. You compare it to the new one with the copper colored wires. These, these actually look charred. So I think this got fried at some point for some reason. I can't say why or when. But I suspect that possibly, and this is pure conjecture, but I know that the headlights on this thing, the wire that goes down to the headlights that runs past the muffler, that, that wire melted out and shorted. I wonder if something like that happens, that this stator could get kind of chewed up, burned out. I mean, it was putting out some voltage, right? There we go. So this is the old one. And you can see how it's kind of charred up in spots. This section looks fairly clean. Most of the rest of them look burnt. So here's the new one on this particular engine. This alternator is part number. 592830 comes with a new bag of hardware instructions with photographs And here's the new guy. Taking a look side by side. So if appearances mean anything, this new one sure looks a lot better. So I want to try to get it on correct way. It's a broken piece, the old one. 
And I think what I'm going to do is route this cable first. I have a little easier time if I just pry that up ever so slightly. here and out here. Okay, and I will tighten them down by hand, not with the impact. I don't want to overdo it. Okay, that's it. Wires are routed. It's put down, vacuumed out. Let's grab that flywheel and put it back in place. Okay, let's put the, uh, let's put the flywheel back in place. Try to line up the groove with the uh, flywheel key, keyway, <coughs> like so. This guy will go in there. <coughs> All right. better. Next, the washer. I'm good with that. Are you good with that? Let's leave it at that. Next, our uh, fan. Two and a half inch bolts. All right, good with that. I think it's time to put our engine shroud back on. Make sure everything looks okay there. There's our wire coming out to the right spot. And much like that probably couldn't see half of that we got the shroud back in place and uh, everything's connected here so the new wires coming out for the new stator alternator and uh, 
I'm going to, uh, so we'll fire it up and we'll check the, our voltage reading. We should about have about nearing 30 volts AC coming out of this with the engine at full throttle. So that'll be our next step, test it out. See if we've met with success. Okay, now that we've got it all back together, it's time to fire up the engine, put it in full throttle and take some voltage readings. What I'm gonna do is fire it up and then with the tester, the multimeter on AC voltage, we're gonna test this new stator and see what kind of voltage it's putting out. We're hoping for about 30 volts or so. And uh, that will, that'll be what we need. All right, let's give it a shot. Okay, beautiful. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna connect the, our next test is we will connect the stator, the new stator to the voltage regulator, like that. And now we're going to take a reading of what's coming out of the voltage regulator. So we're gonna put our, our multimeter on DC voltage. And, uh, what I want to do is put a jumper wire um, from the voltage regulator back to the battery and I'll make it a little easier to put my test leads right on this bare part of the wire. And hopefully what we're kind of, the voltage we're gonna see, DC voltage here should be uh, 14 volts or so. The battery's full, fully charged 12.7, but the, the regulator should put out more like 14 or even up to 15 volts. Here we go. Yeah, so we actually had 16 volts coming out of that regulator. After that, I took my test leads directly to the battery and we read 15 and a half volts. So we'd lose about a half a volt from here, between here and the battery. But at this point, I'm confident we are going to be charging the battery as it's supposed to. And We'll keep that battery at full charge, so when we come out to start it, it won't uh, give us any problems. When we go to engage the electric PTO, it'll cut. And I feel like we have, uh, we've successfully accomplished our goal of repairing the charging system on this Craftsman uh, mower with the Briggs & Stratton engine. I hope that helps you work through your uh, lawn mower issues with if you've got some problems with the charging system and uh, appreciate you watching feel free to leave a comment or a question if you have one I am Buck WSR Weezer signing off and I will see you again on the next repair video
Bye-bye.